Hello, it's Alex and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my November book haul. It's mostly horror and I haven't actually set foot in a thrift shop in a while. I've had this rotten cold for what feels like weeks and I'm still getting over it. So yeah, that's where online shopping comes in. So I've still managed to buy a few books recently. And the first few I have to show you are actually ones from a while ago that I totally forgot to share in last month's haul. First up are two books that are courtesy of the lovely Jason at Jason's Weird Reads. Uh, back in September he had a giveaway to celebrate reaching a thousand subscribers on his channel and I entered the giveaway for an Amazon gift card and I bloody won it! So that was a really lovely surprise and very generous of Jason so thank you so much to him. If you follow me you're probably already following Jason too but if not go do that now. I will leave his channel linked in the description below. So I decided to treat myself with the winnings and buy these two books. First up is Monster She Wrote, The Women Who Pioneered Horror and Speculative Fiction by Lisa Kroger and Melanie R. Anderson. This is a non-fiction book and I've been seeing it all over Instagram recently because it was recently published and I knew I had to get my hands on it because I love reading horror written by women and I love finding more authors to add to my TBR. So I have already read this and really liked it. It's an excellent book and I hope to do a review video on it soon. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested. And the other book I decided to get is one that's been on my wish list for quite some time. It's The Auctioneer by Joan Sampson. This was featured in Paperbacks from Hell and it sounds like just my cup of tea. I'm really hoping to read this by the end of the year, but yeah, the pile is, is quite ambitious as it is. So we will see. I definitely want to read it before too long. So yeah, thank you again ever so much to Jason and his really generous giveaway. I'm very happy to have these in my library. Another book I feel like I bought a while ago but forgot to share last month is Black Ambrosia by Elizabeth Engstrom. This is a reissue from Valancourt Books and I've already read it and I have a review video. It's an excellent vampire novel, I really enjoyed it. So yeah, I'll leave that review linked below if you want to go check it out. And then I just have a handful of vintage horror paperbacks. I got volume 3, The Torture, of the Witches series by James Dark. I bought books 1 and 2 in the series a little while ago and I know I shared them in a previous haul and I haven't actually read them yet but anyway I also got hold of number 3, why not? I am really looking forward to diving into this sleazy looking series. Next up is a book that was very kindly sent to me by a friend on Instagram, The Book Abyss. If you want to go check him out I will leave his page linked below. And yeah, he sent me Summer of Fear by Lois Duncan. I had watched the film adaptation of this back in October and really enjoyed it. And he said he had a copy of the book lying around that he would send over to me because I haven't read any Lois Duncan. She's an author that I know is very famous for her YA. Her most well known is probably I Know What You Did Last Summer. So yeah, thank you again Will for sending this my way. I'm glad to have it and I look forward to reading it. I sent him a Richard Lehman novel that I had on my shelves. He was looking to uh, complete his collection so it worked out as a really good trade. And the last four I also got through Instagram. Uh, another person I follow was having a sale so I snapped up a few titles that had been on my wish list for a while. First up is Dream Stalker by Barbara Steiner. This is a YA horror book from the early 90s and Barbara Steiner had a couple of titles that were in the Point Horror series. Honestly they weren't my favourites but the premise of this one sounds very A Nightmare on Elm Street so I'm really intrigued by it. Speaking of dreams we also have Dream House by E. Patrick Murray. The tagline is it's where your nightmares live and yeah great cover don't know too much about it honestly but I'm looking forward to reading it anyway. 
I also got Death Chain by Ken Greenhall. I've been really wanting to read his work. I've heard great things about Hellhound and Elizabeth, two of the other titles by him. But yeah, this is one that I've been intrigued by. It's about a chain letter. So yeah, gloriously 90s. And last but not least is Althea by Abigail McDaniels. This is a zebra title, zebra, and uh, yeah, it's about a killer doll. So yeah, another wonderful cover too. I needed this one in my life and really excited to read it. So those are all of the books I've acquired recently. Let me know if you've read any of these books. I'd love to hear what you thought or if there are any that you think I should read sooner rather than later. Thank you ever so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!